Hey guys, I am Yankees Boy 18, and welcome back to another my second seed seed showcase. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like it, hit that like button and subscribe because subscribing will help me out a huge bunch. And I hope you guys liked the video. So let's get straight into the seed. The seed is a pretty long number. It's negative seven four one eight seven eight six one four eight. Three, six, four, seven, five, seven, nine, one. So if you type that in, or not type it in, but if you put that in, you'll spawn just around here, right next to this weird little pond coal slash gravel thing. And what has what this world has in it is ten villages. We broke the record of nine villages. We got ten villages now. A mine shaft and a desert temple. So this is the map and let's get straight into showing you the 10 villages so the first village will be right next to spawn this does not have a blacksmith but you have access to wheat, carrots more wheat, I mean more carrots, potatoes and yeah so pretty not that good of a village but it's still an acacia village and acacia villages are cool and it looks like this village is pretty messed up. Look, how do you even get in this village? Where do you get in? Where the heck do you get in this village? You get in right here. And the, even the house is all messed up. It's so crazy. Okay, the next village. You just go west of it you will hit this next village about right here it's a desert village it has a blacksmith in it and you have access to all sorts of crops I think all the crops all wheat, carrots, potatoes and beetroot and beetroot's right here and the blacksmith since they stopped randomizing chests this is what you will get you'll get five iron some bread, two, not two, four oak saplings, an apple, and an iron pickaxe, and some iron leggings. So that's pretty good. They'll get you start mining and stuff like that. So if you go west again, you'll hit an acacia village, which again does not have a blacksmith, but it's pretty big in size, and you can have access to all crops, which is. See, the village is right here. And then, if you go to the northeast ish, just a little bit, you'll hit this village right here. Another acacia village that doesn't have a blacksmith. I don't know what's up with these acacia villages. But again, access to all crops, and it's an acacia village, which is pretty cool. And if you go to the north northwest that's what it is you'll hit an oak village which has a blacksmith and it's also flooded which is pretty bad like it's flooded everywhere but you can go ahead and go into this blacksmith and you will get iron helmet a sword and some bread so you already have pants a helmet a sword and a pickaxe which is pretty good and there's also this giant tree that's just in the middle of the village this village is chill with it. Keep going north. Well, if you just go straight over here, you can see they're right next to each other. You'll hit this desert village. Doesn't have a blacksmith. Has access to almost all the crops except for beetroot. Oh, never mind. Beetroot's right here. Access to all the crops. We'll come back to this later. This is where the main mine shaft is. But there's a lava pool over here. I always like lava pools because you can just instantly make a nether portal using the ocean and the lava. And you go all the way up to the corner. The corner is not that good. Just normal. And if you keep going east from the top corner, there's nothing really across this top part. There's nothing at all. It's just land. Berlin, Berlin. 
reborn it. So once you reach this corner over here, if you start going south from that corner, you go over this little hill right here and hit this desert village, which is right here. Desert village does not have a blacksmith. Villages. What's up with them not having blacksmiths? But again, all crops. You're gonna get a lot of crops from this seed. And if you keep going, then you have this acacia village over here, which doesn't have a blacksmith. Big surprise, it doesn't have a blacksmith. But again, all crops. It's a cache village because it's in cache village are pretty cool because they're really rare. And if you go just straight over here, you see this village right here, which the desert village doesn't have any blacksmith, but some weird just floating sand everywhere. But some crops, not all crops though, and. If you go, keep going this way, there's a big ravine, pretty cool, but right here is the stronghold, so if you look, go to these coordinates right here, you drop straight down, and go to the stronghold, and once you reach down here, if you could follow these torches, so this pattern, go right here, and then you dig straight down from this block right here, you'll end up in the stronghold, in the end portal room has three end portals in there. It's pretty cool. But instead of going this way, if you go down here and hit this library, you can um, hit this chest right here, which has it's full. Pretty cool. And you have a chant book with protection three and knockback two. And there's also just a random open chest over here that has a pickaxe and some bread in it. So let's go ahead and go back up. Okay, so now the desert temple is right down here. I think. Where is the desert temple? I swear it says it. Okay, hold on, I'm going back to spawn. I want to see if I got this right or not. Is there a desert temple? Oh, yeah, there's a desert temple. What the heck? Now I just gotta find it. Okay, I still haven't found the desert temple. It's probably somewhere top right corner, but I came by the, sh the mine shaft. The mine shaft is right here at these coordinates. Dig down from there. We end up right here. And it's like a ravine in the mine. It's like the mine shaft's in the ravine. So it actually looks kind of like a mine shaft. And then you have all these spider webs just floating everywhere. It's pretty cool. You have access to a straight one right here, that mine cart with the chest that has a golden apple in it, which is pretty cool. You keep exploring it through the caves and all that. You'll find more chests and stuff like that. Okay, back again. Just want to let you know that there is another lava pool right here. Okay, guys, I finally found it. It's actually really hard to spot because all there is is this pillar and everything that's underneath. And it's also right next to spawn is over there. It's right here. You want to go to it. But if you go in there, I don't think it's the best loot in the world. You go ahead and go down here. You get some apples and a saddle. Apples, some gold. Trash. Enchant a book with fire protection. Pretty cool. And a saddle. So you can already get a horse. Two horses, in fact. So I think that's all there is for this video. Hope you like hope you guys liked it. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button if you're new around here. Help me out a huge bunch. And I'll see you guys later in the next video. Bye guys.